then you can try it, and then you can try it, and then you can try it. Oh, that's right. See you guys later. Hey. Go, go. Hey. back it's been like two weeks since I posted one pretty disappointed in myself I mean I have a good reason actually I don't have a good reason I am um, I am getting really sick like really really sick and well okay not that sick it was like the stomach flu but I felt like I was gonna die and I kind of used that as an excuse do other things and that kind of contradicts the reason why I started the vlog in the first place my goal was to just film all the time and I kind of took it as a chore I guess I just stopped being lazy so vlog is back so I just realized that this mic does not work and I just filmed this whole thing on this mic I apologize what is this shine right here. Do you guys see this shine? I guess in a way it's kind of like when you say you're gonna go work out and like you mean it and you go to the gym like three days in a row and then on the fourth day you're like really tired and you make an excuse not to go and then three weeks later you're like man I wish I was still going to the gym. That was gonna happen with this vlog but then I kind of shook it off. So in this period of time where I wasn't vlogging at all I realized something critical, something very important. Always be filming. And the reason I say that is because you just live your life and live your life normally and you don't have to like create this environment where you can film something that's interesting and just film your life normally and if you are an interesting person it'll be good content. And I think uh, I was just way overthinking it. And so now I have aggressively filmed pretty much all the time. I'm filming in the dark. In the trunk of my car right now. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm filming when I'm really high. Okay, we made it to the roof. That's Seattle. Filming when I'm on the go, like when you're riding a bike. Oh god. <sighs> filming when I'm going really fast. <laughs> filming on a booster board is actually really difficult, but I'm doing it. Oh god. Hill, hill, hill. There's a hill. I find myself filming when I'm working out. It's not working out. I'm filming when I have to be really quiet. I'm at the library. Shh. I'm also filming when I have to be really loud. You lift me up so I can stand on mountains. You lift me up so I can stand on mountains. Yikes. When I'm sleeping? When I'm awake, I'm awake. I've been filming when I want to be wild. I'm wild! I'm even filming when I need to take care of business. Whew. Do not go in there. Sometimes I even film when I'm trying to be sneaky. I'm hiding behind this tree. Heck, I'm even filming when I want to get close with nature. I'm so close! <laughs> Moral of the story is that when you're always filming, you're never going to have to create content because if your life is interesting or if you're an interesting person, it's going to be natural. I'm feeling good about it. It's here! It's finally here!
this is so cool. Risk of death or serious injury. I don't know what that means, but we're definitely writing this. It's even cooler in real life. How do you open it? Cords, charger, wrist strap, more cords, stickers! Okay, I gotta plug it in, charge it, and then I can write it. It's going pretty good. It's really fast, and this is on the slowest setting, but it's really cool. Uh, you guys wanna try it? No. I wanna try it, hell yeah I wanna try it. <laughs> so I just hold it? Hold the trigger, and then move your thumb forward. Oh <laughs> my god. Okay. I'm out one. All right, see you around. 20 bucks before. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when I was up uh, on the roof of that building, I forgot to mention that I live in an awesome city. It's like you get the big city size, but you don't get the hustle and bustle of like New York and the crowdedness of downtown Seattle. And it's just, it's totally underrated. A lot of people think that this city is just too posh, too upscale, too high end. You have to be someone who, who's really financially set to live here. Not true at all. I live here, I'm not huge on finances, so. You do, however, get to see a lot of nice cars on the road, which is, at least in my opinion, really cool. It's clean, there's not a lot of homeless people, at least I don't think they're homeless. Bellevue is an awesome city. I do wish the weather was nicer more often. In the summer, it's like the greatest place you can be but for the rest of the months it's just like rain and hail and clouds I am a little biased however I uh, I was born in Bellevue and so I think there's something to be said about the place where you started and your connection to it so there's places to eat there's places to walk you can hang out basically anywhere and not be too cautious of your surroundings. Did I mention that I was born here? Now, I never thought that this is where I'd end up working. That just happened. Uh, I ended up actually moving to Las Vegas for a long time. Came back and there's one thing I could complain about Bellevue. It would be, wait, what? If there was one thing that I could complain about if there was one thing I could complain about about Belt, what the things complaining Bellevue, one thing they have some strict drone laws. I haven't gotten in trouble yet, but if you look online, it's basically a no-fly zone for no reason. Uh, I still fly my drone, but just come on, when did a drone ever hurt anybody? I'm not trying to convince you to move to Bellevue. I'm just trying to tell you that there's a cool city that's not downtown Seattle in Washington that maybe you should check out if you're in the area. All right, we were gonna go to Chipotle tonight and then we decided to cook at home and I think we made the right choice. What do you think? I definitely think we made the right choice. Uh, I did it! Woo! Two chairs on the side table. All right, so I'm gonna make spaghetti and I can't because the dishes, so I'm gonna clean the dishes and make spaghetti.
All right, done cleaning. Now we can cook pasta. If you haven't seen it before, check out my other pasta video right there. Really cool. I really like pasta. We got homemade garlic bread, Parmesan chicken, angel hair, and corn. What do you think? All right, well, I'm gonna end the vlog right there. It's midnight, I'm gonna go to bed, but just lastly, one more thing. I have to show you guys something amazing. It's only right that you should play the Running that you know, alright. Now we ain't calling over love, but my farm ain't.